she's an ageless wonder. Her lustful life makes this lady tick. When a young man looks at Madame, she just throws herself right at him. She's young at heart and still getting her kicks. And at last place, she's a prime time queen. She throws her stuff on a TV screen. Here at last place, she's the perfect host. She rocks the airways from coast to coast. Her outrageous charm fills this funny farm that we call at play. won't hurt a bit, I promise you. Yeah, that's what my boyfriend told me when I was 18. <laughs> oh, I got that little bitty one. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Look at this long one hanging out of my nose, honey. It's driving me crazy. I'll get it. Okay. Ow! It hurt you? Yes, you did. Mm. <laughs> Madam. Yeah? It's for you. Long distance from Italy. Italy, is it? Mm -hmm. If it's that Chef Boyardee, tell him to take his lip noodles and can them. No, it's not Chef Boyardee. It's Federino Fellucci. Oh, Federino Fellucci? The Federino Fellucci? Stop plucking Bernadette. They love hair in Italy. Oh. He's waiting. It's long okay, distance. Okay, give me the phone. Give me the phone. Freddy, hello, darling. Yes, I did see your last scratch and sniff movie. The garlic pressing scene was a knockout. <laughs> what? Oh, what do I owe the honor of your call? What? You, you're kidding. Well, well, I'll think about it, Freddie. Well, I'm a big, big star in this country on TV. Ah, uh, television, dear. Yes, TV. People have them in their dens. Okay, darling, see you when you get to L.A. Ciao! Oh, my. Well, madam, what did the great Fellucci say? What did he say? What did he say? Well, please, please relax. Calm down. I'm a professional, you know. I don't want anyone to overreact. He simply wanted to ask me if I wanted to be in his next movie. He wants to be in his movie! <laughs> Just think of it. Italy, Venice, gondolas. Oh, those guys with the big poles in the boat. <laughs> Sarah Joy, a phrase like that in this town can get you into a lot of trouble. I'm studying Italian to make Fellucci feel at home. You know, this movie deal could be Auntie Madam's big break. Madam doesn't need breaks, Sarah Joy. She makes them. Excuse me. Well, I just figured that if Fellucci could put Auntie Madam into one of his movies, well, then that could make up for her last disaster. Cheesecake fever was not a disaster. If we'd had a decent script and a sober director, we, it could have been a masterpiece. Come on, Pinky. You know Auntie Madam's one regret about show business is that she never really made it big in the movies. Yes, but there were some magic moments. Flophouse follies, banjo brain, pigskin panty waist. And who can forget her classic? A thousand bearded Frenchman. <laughs> I saw it eight times. You remember the duet? Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. A thousand bearded Frenchmen, they just came from Paris. Ah. Looking for... Ooh, la, la. Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. <laughs> Yay, that was wonderful. Thank you, boy. And now I'd like to bring out one of the great ladies of show business, one of my dearest friends, the cute, the versatile, the incomparable, the candid, the positively splendid, Miss Betty White. Oh, yay, Betty! Oh, how are you, girl? Oh, 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 what an introduction. Uh, and I know talk show audiences are sick to death of gushy compliments between show people, but I can't tell you how wonderful I think you are. 
Well, you know, Betty, I feel the same way. When they told me you were going to be a guest on the show, I could not have been more thrilled. Well, when they called me, I practically sang. My agent said the money was ridiculous, but I said I didn't care. I had to see Madam. I knew we'd have fun. Well, well, Betty, uh, the money isn't that bad. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, a little bird told me that you asked for the check the minute you got into your dressing room. <laughs> Some blabbermouth said that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let some offensive employee of yours spoil my enjoyment of being a guest on your show. No, oh, don't you dare. If I had an offensive employee, which I certainly do not, I'd fire him in a minute. If he actually offended you, which he did not. He has, and he did. Oh, but let's talk about fabulous you. Oh, oh you have such... Oh, such uh, joie de vivre, such elan, such esprit de force. <laughs> You know, I bet if you'd said that with subtitles or had it dubbed into English, it probably would be a lovely compliment. <laughs> I am sorry. If it, one assumes a, a ripened, worldly show business legend knows those things. Ripened? Aren't you kind? Not exactly blossom time in your garden, honey. In fact, I'd say most of the good stuff's been harvested. <laughs> oh, my. You have such an entertaining and creative way of saying hateful, vicious, and unwarranted things. But without that delightful, nasty skill, what else would you have? Just a freaky nose and your grand dame illusion. <laughs> this Bonnie Broad is going to leave here in small slivers. <laughs> Betty, dear, is there much chance you'll ever return to television? Or is the public's decision final? <laughs> I've never left television, dear. Although I suppose I should think about it. Now that it's degenerated to the point that you have your own show. Betty, stop squeezing those sour grapes. You could have your own show, too, if you just had the talent, the drawing power, the ability to think of something to say, and, uh, perhaps, a uh, new wardrobe. Did you say talent? Oh, my dear, that's a, that's a word you should avoid above any, except possibly nostrils. And wardrobe? I insist that my chauffeur wipe our oil dipstick with tastier rags than you wear. Well, I've got you there, Beth. Most of my gowns were designed by the same man who made them for the first lady. Oh, which one, dear? Mrs. Lincoln or Mrs. Washington? Or Eve? Oh. So clever. Proves you aren't just another average face. <laughs> Everyone can have a below average face. Did you say below average? That's it. I'm going to blow your career, Betty. What's left of it? Sky high. I'm going to tell them the whole thing about you and you know what. <laughs> oh, you are? Well, then I'll tell them that whole big bit of business about you and... <laughs> what, what? Well, what a joy to have you here, Betty. <laughs> Here, and I've enjoyed every moment. Yes, yes, it's so good to see you. My dear, dear friend, Miss Betty White, everybody. Oh, Betty White, Thank you, Betty. Now I'd like for you to watch the fingers of my next guest. They are really something. I ought to know I went out with them last night. <laughs> Would you please welcome Dick Hardwick and Doug Maddox. Yay! <laughs> We have some friends in Japan that are going to audition for a new amusement park that's opening real soon in Tokyo. Yes. Now, they're a bluegrass band, and we play bluegrass music. So they wanted us to write a song for them. So we wrote this. <laughs>
really dig dog and kick. And now a word from our biggest sponsor. Yes, folks, it's Perry Pipsky's pint-sized Polish pepper pork pack. Put a little pig in your pocket with Pipsky. Remember, Perry Pipsky only uses pork that died a natural death. Yes, indeed. This one <clears throat> didn't die all that recently either. Perry's half-pint figure is pungent and pee yuppie. So remember, Perry Pipsky's farm products are the ones to buy. <sighs> I am so tired of pitching this pork. <laughs> we'll be right back. That man gone nuts. Perry Pipsky's pint-sized Polish pepper pork packs are our biggest sponsor. Mother says she's tired of peddling pork packs that you put in your pocket. She's had a terrible case of swine flu in her hip. Oh, she just wants to return to films and work with a great director. Who do you think I am, hack on a half shell? <laughs> Well, no offense, Barney, but you're a boob tuber. Madam belongs on the big screen, you know, 70 millimeter Dolby sound and Groparama. Okay, beautiful. Now, about Monday's schedule. We've oh, well, sh there might not be a show on Monday. What? What? Well, I think Madam has sort of had it with this daily grind. She wants to be in the movies. You mean Madam's going to say goodbye to her TV career? Oh, well, not exactly goodbye, just... Arriva Derchi. She can always come back to this. Oh, madam, you were wonderful. Oh, great. That's just great. She's starring in a movie, and I'll probably end up on Real People directing a man that dances with meat. <laughs> uh, ah, Signor Falucci. My name is Pinkerton. Welcome to Madam's place. Grazie, grazie, prego. Madam is really anxious to meet you. Naturally. <laughs> That face, yes, see, it will be perfect for love is fleeting. It is so, so beautiful. No, that's not it. <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable. I'll tell madam you're here. Grazie, grazie. Prego. Huh. Could we... I can see it now. You light a cigarette. Uh. The smoke swirls around your troubled face. Suddenly we see everything. Uh. You should be an actress. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I started out as an actress, uh, but through my, my own initiative and my talent and my very hard work, well, somehow I managed just to remain a secretary. <laughs> How do you do on Bernadette Van Gilder? <laughs> Bella Bella. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Signore Fredekens. Bella Donna, Bella Notte, Bella Donna, Bella whatever. There she is, the reason for my journey. Oh, yes, yes. So, oh, Bernadette, what a lovely gown. Don't change it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You are a double vision of loveliness. Oh, Salute. Yes, sir. Ah. Who is this little pepperoni in the lovely gown? Oh, uh, this is my niece, Sarah Joy, who was also just leaving to change clothes. I've got to put a new lock on my expensive gown, so. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Fu. Oh, so sorry. It is just my way of saying uh, hello. Oh, well, why don't you say hello to me sometime? Well, drop my earring. Oh, oh, grazie, muito grazie. <laughs> Dinner is served, madam. Wonderful, Pinky. This way, please. See. Si. Grazie. Mm. Oh, after you. Oh, thank you. Oh, so I'm so sorry, but I did not want to leave anyone out. <laughs> Hunchback plays the mandolin, and the naked clowns dance merrily into the sewer. We fade out. Oh! Yay! <laughs> grazie, grazie, oh, grazie. Oh, yes. Grazie, prego. Mondo Descasso, my favorite <laughs> film of yours. <laughs> well, not the past, Freddy boy. Let's talk of the future. Ah, uh, but first, let's eat. Mm. Madam's favorite Italian dish. I made it myself. Mm. Pasta 
Semente al dente. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every, every shell is hand-carved in a replica of Madam's face. <laughs> Madam likes to call it noodles with a nose. <laughs> oh, uh, at least she used to. <laughs> Enjoy it, Federino. Oh, Took hours to defrost the stuff. <laughs> Tell us about love is fleeting. Ah, see, si, love is fleeting. Oh, grazie. Very good. <laughs> it is the story of a handsome Italian bricklayer and his peasant bride. He is uh, very, 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 very much in love with her, but unfortunately, on their wedding night, he is... Uh, Incapable of uh, making love to her. Oh, yes, I made a movie like that once called The Leaning Tower of Al. The pasta is uh, Sonny Bono. Oh, well, Pima Panera to you, too. Where do you taste the chicken? I call it Calbreste, I'll expose, a la madam. I must talk to you. Uh, excuse me, Falooch. Uh, yes, Pinky? It's urgent. It's your agent, Larry Lunch. He has some disturbing news. Oh, Pinkerton, I pay you to serve, not interrupt. If that's the way you want it, madam. Yes. Well, how is the spaghetti? What's the matter? A little too much garlic? Oh. oh. Well, you know, suddenly I'm not the least bit hungry. Why don't we move this party upstairs to my boudoir where I can slip into something more comfortable? Would you like to wipe off your face and go try on your costume? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, my, love is fleeting. I hope it's not a, any violence in the film. I, I hate the sight of blood. No, no, no. Oh, Pinkerton, where's Madam? Oh, with Felucci? I thought so. She asked me which nightgown would go best with garlic. Well, it's not going to be much of a party, Miss Van Gilder. Madam lost the part she wanted to Diane Keaton. What are you saying? Larry Lunch called during dinner, and Diane Keaton got the lead in Love is Fleeting. Oh, my stars. Oh, Diane Keaton. Madam lost that part to a woman who probably kissed Woody Allen on the mouth? Oh, her heart must be broken. She hasn't heard. What? I tried, but she just wouldn't listen to me. When she finds out... When she finds out, the pasta's gonna hit the fazool. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about being in your movie. Uh, let's check out that costume you brought me, Falooch. Oh, I just love to play dress up. <laughs> Thanks for not laughing. <laughs> you are the only actress in the world to play this role. Put it on, my darling. I want to see you in it, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh, what the hell is this? What is it, my Bella Ragaz? <laughs> well, it ain't no Balenciaga, is it? <laughs> Belucci, why am I dressed like a spud? Because, my Dolce, madam, you are going to play Diane Keaton's poor, ravaged grandmother in love is fleeting. Of course, of the wig, it will not work. What? What are you trying to do? What does this look like now? Dear God. I'll, I'll murder you, you bum! <laughs> Un momento, por favor. Oh, Adam, you, Adam, 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 what are you doing? Why, that Mediterranean meatball, he tried... He fooled me. He wants me to play a... I can't even I say know, it. I know, I know. I tried to tell you at dinner. Are you going to play the grandmother or not? Definitely not! Now, please, leave my home. Well, my search continues. Does anyone know where is the house of Ethel Merman? <laughs> Mr. Pellucci, would you please leave? I guess not. <laughs> Arrivederci. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, how? Oh, Pinky, Bernie, Sarah Joy, I've been such a pasta for fool. Oh, but I've only got myself to blame. Oh, I am what I am. And one thing I ain't is Diane Keaton. I think it's about time I started accepting it. Well, I have to get ready. For what? I'm going hang gliding at the canyon with Scott Bayo. Well, what are you looking at? Haven't you seen a bag of manure before? Oh, 